Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. If you have not been here before, this is my channel. These are my plants. So it happened. The thing happened. I finally got my first experience with mealybugs. And I am not the biggest fan of bugs in general. They make me uncomfortable. So when I found that first mealybug, I've had plants for just over a year now and I've never had any troubles with pests besides fungus gnats. And my time has finally come. And honestly, I kind of just want to set everything on fire and run for the hills. <laughs> and of any plant that they could have picked in my whole entire collection, they picked my chain of hearts. Now this chain of hearts is so dense on the top and it's just the fullest plant Ever. So getting in there and picking out every single mealybug is almost impossible. I did my best. I got in there and I picked out what I could, but it wasn't enough. So my first instinct was to grab a blowtorch and just set it on fire. Because I had been so lucky with pests, I didn't have anything on hand besides some pest oil that I bought like a year ago. So that was my first mistake, might I add. So apparently, when uh, you use pest oil, you're meant to actually clean it off because the oil actually clogs the pores, I guess, of the leaves of the plant and they go yellow and die. So what I did was I chucked it outside, I doused it in pest oil twice. I inspected it and I couldn't see anything, so I thought I was in the clear. Then I brought it back inside and a week later, they were back. Not only were they in my chain of hearts, they had also now found their way into my Hoyo compactor and it was infested. It was disgusting. And um, not only my Hoyo compactor, um, I also found one on my string of pearls also. So I freaked out, naturally. Uh, I went straight to Heritage Gardens Nursery and I said to the guy, look, I got mealybugs. I don't want to have to deal with mealybugs. What have you got? What can you give me that is going to wipe them out? And he basically was like, this, this is the shit. So he gave me this stuff here, which is a ready to use insecticide, uh, which does aphids, thrips, mealybugs, la di la di da. So he said, take it home, douse your plants, make sure to do it outside because you don't want to breathe this stuff in. Uh, I can't imagine it would be good for you. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today. Um, so that in itself is going to be an effort to take everything outside. And so I thought I'd bring you guys along in the process and um, yeah. I might also add before we take these plants out and start spraying them, um, if you don't know what a mealybug is, I'll insert a photo just here of what they look like and what their um, little nests and their eggs look like. So basically they are a little tiny white bug that clings to um, the little crevices of your plants, usually found on the back of the leaves or like where the um, leaf meets the petiole. Um, so you really, really want to make sure you're inspecting your plants. Don't be lazy like me because then you get an infestation and then you got to do all this. So basically what they do is they attach to your plant and they suck the life out of it. So you really want to make sure you get on top of it and get rid of them as soon as you find them. Otherwise your plant. So the best way to get rid of them obviously is doing what I'm doing today and um, spraying an insecticide. Otherwise what you can also do is get a cotton bud and alcohol and you can actually dip the cotton bud in and put it straight onto the mealybug itself and that will kill them straight away. Um, don't drink the alcohol though, because that's bad. And also using a pest preventative is another good option as well, just to make sure even if you don't have them, at least you're preventing uh, an infestation. So, so anyway, now that I've covered that, let's go kill some mealybugs. First impression. You OPN, we should be closer to friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you OPN, we should be closer to friends. 
If you OPN, uh, engaging you's on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, uh, take the hot road and hop in. Uh. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up and smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a pokeball. Open up. Tear you out for the pokeball. Let your emotions walk fall on me. Open up. Open up. Need to deep breathe hard and complications. Open up. Need to breathe, breathe our conversations. Contemplation over our situation. Open up. You OPN. Bitch, you won't be BM. We should be closer than friends. If you OPN, uh, engaging you's on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The doors OPN, uh, take the hot road and hop in. Uh, you OPN, uh, bitch, you won't be BM. Uh, we should be closer than friends. Uh, if you OPN, uh, engaging you's on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, if you did, Make sure to like this video and head on over to my channel and subscribe. It really helps me out if you guys support in that way. And until then, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Make sure to like, subscribe, Are you good? <laughs> Distract the child with chippies. <laughs> Apparently that's what ha that's what happened. Hmm. So you're gonna come along with me and let's kill some millie bugs. <laughs> So let's take all these plants outside.